Grayson's got a bunch of really fun announcements this year. We're launching Grayson Entourage, which is our automatic content recognition platform that enables uh, uh, second devices like phones and tablets to be synchronized to the TV. Um, brings a whole new level of interactive TV uh, to the industry. Uh, we're also announcing a broad partnership with Nuance. It's a 10 year strategic partnership to develop media related uh, voice uh, recognition solutions. Broad partnership with Toyota to bring Grace Note solutions into the new Toyota Entune platform. And lastly, working with Twitter to bring verified accounts uh, into our platform. So Entourage uh, enables consumers to have this really nice interactive experience with what's playing on their TV without having to do anything. So as they're sitting on their couch, they have their phone or their tablet in their lap, they can synchronize what's happening on the tablet with what they're watching on TV. Get related content, biographies, filmographies, recommendations, a whole sets of related content delivered right to that second device. Grace Note's been in, in, involved with voice recognition in the car for quite some time. We power voice in many of the platforms across Ford and General Motors and Chrysler. Um, what this partnership does is really takes our involvement in invoice to the next level by working with Nuance to create the next generation of voice solutions. In the car, it means you've got a tighter integration with Nuance, and then outside of the car, it means we can do a lot of fun stuff in the cloud. Voice in the car is pretty important. Collections are getting very large. Consumers need very simple ways to be able to find content. Voice is a natural way to do that. Uh, so it means a consumer can just talk to their car, play me Elvis Presley. I think what consumers are looking for is an extension of their mobile device. At this point, you know, everybody's got their favorite apps that have streaming content on them and they, they have music that's uh, embedded onto their device and they want to be able to bring that experience into their vehicle. So they want as easy of a transition as possible and I think Ford has done a great job in making that transition easy with their voice control features and their functionality in vehicles. So Twitter's really emerged as a, a real-time communications platform. A lot of people use it to you know, share their thoughts. Artists are doing this, uh, movie stars are doing this, kind of record numbers. What the verified accounts do is it allows us to bring the official Twitter handles into our platform so that as you're watching a movie and you know it's got George Clooney in it, you can also see the information about what George Clooney is tweeting at the same time. Same way for musicians, so if it's, you're listening to a Madonna or Lady Gaga album and you want to get some more information about them, you can see their tweets right there. So the Mood Grid is a, is a new interface, a new way for consumers to interface with their collection using Mood. What we do is we map a user's music collection to a grid that's made up of kind of energy and mood, and then the user can very simply, with a touch of a button or one voice control, access their collection. Uh, Grace Notes party at CES can be the hottest party of the week. We've got uh, three of the world's best DJs, DJ Just Key, DJ Cassidy, and DJ Jazzy Jeff DJing for us. It's at the bank at the Bellagio. We're throwing the party with multiple co-sponsors, Sony, Ford, and Nuance. It's going to be a hot party. Grace Note's really excited to be here at CES with some of our key partners, Sony, Ford, Nuance, Twitter. Uh, we've got a lot of great uh, announcements here. It's going to be a great show for us.